So the overall reaction to people finding out that we acquired Dan Kennedy's company, well, it was pretty well received. I want to officially announce the acquisition ClickFunnels has just acquired Magnetic Marketing, Dan Kennedy's company. But like, now what are we gonna do? Like, oh crap, I don't, I don't know yet. Like, what was the plan? What were we gonna do? Like, we had 40 years of this man's intellectual property on a Google Drive. Like, what do we do with all this? Like, how do we make sure that we carry on the legacy in a way that Dan would be proud of and in a way that's gonna serve the audience? First step really was just to figure out what was happening. It started with a couple of phone calls here and there and everyone had different stories. I was like, ah, like, we need to get everybody in a room so we can like look at where we're at and then figure out a goal for where we wanna go. And so we took the Magnetic Marketing team and we flew them all here to Boise, Idaho and really spent you know, the first half of the day just figuring out like, so what have you guys been doing the last 10 years? Like what's happening, what's working, what's not working? Like what are your frustrations? Up. Like it was the best performing thing and then they're like, you have to take all that out. And I was like, oh, and it goes like this. <laughs> numbers were going down. Some of the big like... problems that we kind of acquired through this process we didn't know about. Yeah. The first was that they hadn't run ads in a decade. So there were no new members, new blood, new people coming into it. The other side was there were a lot of disgruntled people. You know, there wasn't any new innovation happening. There were affiliate partnerships that had been burned. There were just a lot of things that hadn't been run right. They weren't run by entrepreneurs. It was run by companies who were looking at spreadsheets and they weren't looking at like customers. You know, Dan Kennedy's first principle, like the most important thing he drills in your head is like the value to business is the herd and the herd had been forgotten. Like, I just need to know what the peak number of members was so I can beat it. It says, uh, I'm working from memory, not hard records, so with the caveat, the peak years GKC so held around 12,000 members. And so step number one was really like, okay, how do we take care of the herd? How do we nurture the people that are there? And how do we get more people in? So now we've got a thriving community of entrepreneurs who can, who can really enjoy what Dan's created. The goal is to get people, help them understand direct response marketing, and then like, there's this yep. tool that actually helps them do all the stuff we're talking about. The answer to all these problems and more is always a funnel. It's like, hey, we need a funnel. Like, what's the funnel that's gonna fuel this company? I started thinking back and we started talking, like, what have you guys tried in the past? And then I told him, I was like, I remember when I first came into the Dan Candy world, I came in because they had created this thing, and I was like, Hammer's Call is like the most, the most incredible offer ever, or something like that. And everyone on the table was like, oh, the Mifki. And I was like, the, the what? M, wait, most, most, most incredible, incredible, free. Yeah. Free, Free gift, 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 gift ever. ever. Mifki. Okay, that's the weirdest name ever. And they're like, yeah, the Mifki offer, that's what built the company initially. And they are showing us like, here's the Mifki we did in, you know, this year. And then we did a new Mifki and they had all these different Mifkis. If I'm completely honest, they weren't the most incredible free gift ever. They're like the kind of okay free gift, maybe. Like the, the Kmifki, I don't know, whatever you call that. But it wasn't like, oh, I have to buy this. And so the first question was like, okay, if I'm coming to the Dan Kennedy world, like we have 40 years of Dan Kennedy's greatest stuff on a Google Drive right now. Like we can create any kind, like what would be the myth key that would get me to go rejoin the continuity, even though I own the company, what would go make me go buy it because it was that good of an offer. And so that's when it kind of started the brainstorm. Like we need to bring the myth key back. That's how Dan built the company, that's how Bill built the company. And so that's where we started designing the first funnel. Okay, this is gonna be the front end. The biggest thing I think we need, the fastest, is just an insane offer that gets people into this. The purpose of the Mifki back when Dan Kennedy and Bill Glazer ran it was to get people on their memberships. So the membership is a monthly print newsletter. It's called the No BS Letter. It came as an envelope like this every single month. And this was like the thing, this is what drove the entire Dan Kennedy business was the newsletter. And again, over the 10 years, they hadn't bought any ads to promote this. So there's a little under a thousand people who are still getting this every single month in the mail. And so our big thing was like, okay, we need to create a Mifki to get more people on to the membership. Like that's the, the entire focal point. It's kind of like if you remember Sports Illustrated, like they would sell subscription. But the way they sold it wasn't just the subscription. They would always put in football clock and the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. So like those were the hooks. That was the most incredible free gift ever that Sports Illustrated gave people to get them on subscription. Free! Come on, kid. This is America. Nobody gives you something for nothing. Okay, free for subscribing to Sports Illustrated. Aha! Ah, but that's just the half of it. So the same thing was true here. We created an irresistible offer that people wanted and we gave to them for free when you subscribe to the actual newsletter. And so part of the, the planning of the MIFQ was like, okay, this is cool, but this newsletter, this looks like it was written in the 80s. 
because it kind of was. Like we wanted to make something a little more modern. So one of the, the big projects for the Mifki was the redesign of the newsletter. Moving forward, these are some of the updates. There's some color, it looks beautiful. They have a comic illustrating like what the, what the principle you're gonna master from this issue is gonna be. And then inside of here, it's Dan going deep on a topic as opposed to a whole bunch of people talking really briefly on random topics. And so that's just kind of what the rebrand and the update of the newsletter looks like. I'm wondering if the only thing that, because right now, I mean, this is like a whole bunch of cool dance stuff is awesome. The only thing I would want to add in here is like something related to funnels. Um, I, and I knew that people watching this would be coming from two worlds. Half of them are going to be people who are Dan Kennedy, offline marketers who love Dan, who just like, they want more Dan stuff. And half of them are coming from my world, from the internet marketers, funnel builders, funnel hackers. And so it's like, I wanted to make it where you get the best of both worlds. And so when we made the Mifki, we strategically did it. So okay, every single month you're gonna get a newsletter from Dan going deep into like the offline principles, the foundation strategic things you need. And on top of that, you're gonna get a behind the scenes showing funnels and online marketing and funnel building and traffic generation, all those kind of things. And so now every month they get two newsletters. This one comes to the first of the month, this one comes to the 14th of the month. Now on top of that, we started going through and saying, okay, with everything now in this offer stack, we need to have like a really cool Dan thing and a really cool Russell thing. So I started looking through like, the courses that meant the most to me, like the things that had the biggest impact on me. One of them was this course he put together back in the day called the Midas Touch. And this is a course that used to sell for five or $600. So I was like, hey, I own the company now, I can do whatever I want. And so he took that and said, we'll get that for free for anyone who signs up. And I remember like, as I was sharing a lot of these things, people were like, you can't do that. Like we sell that for $2,000 on the site. And I'm like, we can do whatever we want. Like we own the company. We need to make this offer so irresistible that people come in and they never leave because they're like, this is insane, they gave this to me for free. And so we literally were pulling courses off the shelf and just put them in there for free. We also took like magnetic marketing. This is the key foundation that people have to understand in the Dan Kennedy world's magnetic marketing. So it's like, well, let's give them this book. So we print these books and we give them the book. And they get this as well. Anyway, and the offer goes on and on and on. And then to capstone the whole entire thing, I was like, this is cool, you have a bunch of digital stuff, they get a bunch of physical stuff, shows them in the mail. But like, what if we could give people an experience? An experience that they couldn't, ever get anywhere else. And the experience was like, what if we could have Dan Kennedy come and do a live event just for people who were part of the membership? So this ticket now, every single person who is a member gets this ticket, they can come for free to hear Dan for an entire day uh, as again, part of, um, part of this offer. And so that was the initial creation of the Mifki, like making an offer that was so irresistible that you'd feel stupid saying no, right? That was step number one. Step number two then is that we needed to create a sales video to actually sell the Mifki, right? the most incredible free gift ever, or the Mifki. And so I literally sat in this little studio right here, and I talked about the story behind the most incredible free gift offer, what it is, why they need it, and I did a sales presentation for the Mifki, which honestly is like the easiest sales presentation of all time. Our team has been working tirelessly to give you the updated version that's starting today. So with that, there's a million little things. Again, this wasn't just launching a new funnel. This was launching a new business, a new newsletter. Like we literally had new logos, new branding, all the things. Like we had the Mifki with the sales page, but a good offer is more than a sales page. A funnel is more than just one page. So we had like, what's the order form bump? We took the magnetic marketing system that, um, hold on, I'm gonna show it to you guys. I, I found it. So this was the Magnetic Marketing Toolkit. They still on their site sold this for $500 and bought the company. Now it's the order form bump. Then we had an upsell and a downsell. For the upsell, like, well, what should the upsell be? And so I started going through the Google Drive and we found this set. It was Dan Kennedy's lifetime of work. It was like his file. If you go to Dan's house for a consult, he has these huge filing cabinets with all the swipe files of like every ad that he's ever found that he liked that he cut out. He's like, this ad's amazing. And it has his notes on it. So we took all of this entire thing, his lifetime work, his entire swipe file, and we put it into like, in fact, you wanna see that too? Hold on, they're all here, one sec. Oh, so we made a digital version, oh, but on top of that, we put them all in books. This is not one book, this is the entire series. This is Dan Kennedy's filing cabinet. Oh, literally in the upsell, upsell number one, where you get the digital version for $500 or this entire book set. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and there's one more book. So all 12 books, 2,500 bucks. And this is like flying to Dan Kennedy's house, grabbing his filing cabinet and shipping it back to you. When you're like, I need to create a new ad, hold on. Whew, and you're like, oh, here's all these different ads that Dan found. And then not only is it the ad, it's like, there's Dan's notes on like why it was cool. Like, oh, I liked it because of this, and this is awesome. And like, so there you go, it was like, that was episode number one, then we had episode number two, so we actually built an entire funnel because as you know, if you're a Dan Kennedy fan or if you're becoming one, Dan's number one quote is, whoever can spend the most money to acquire a customer wins. So we had to create a funnel where we could spend a lot of money to acquire a customer. Okay, so after that was done, we got the funnel done, 
we got the pieces in place, we tested it, it was working, and then it was like, okay, let's do a launch. And so we sent out kits to all of Dan Kennedy's affiliates in the past. We sent the same thing to all my top affiliates, and we coordinated an affiliate launch. We promoted, Dan Kennedy's list promoted, and uh, the launch happened. What are Dan Kennedy and Russell Brunson up to? So Dan's got this really cool offer. Have you ever heard of the Mythgate? He's actually relaunching all of those again. And this is one of those things that launches are like so exciting and fun and stressful all at the same time, right? The stress of like trying to get all the pieces done, make sure it's working and making sure that we have the fulfillment and the printing and the shipping and like, oh, like there's so many pieces there. But then it's like, what if we launch it and it doesn't convert? What if people don't buy it? What if the offer wasn't good? What if, you know, you never know. In fact, half, I don't want to admit this publicly, but here we are publicly talking about it. Half our funnels don't work the first time. We launch them and like, the, you know, the conversions are low, the cart value is not very high, like all the things that are, the potentially could go wrong often do go wrong. And so a lot of times we like to test these things behind the scenes, but this was one where we were just, like the launch was happening. And so we were refreshing the stats every 15 seconds. Yeah, probably 20 minutes in, after refreshing stats, the first sale came through on the $2,500 upsell. And also we're like, oh my gosh. And then because of that one $2,500 sale, it increased our average order value dramatically. Over the two week after we promoted it, Philly's promoted, everyone started promoting it. We ended up selling, I think, about 4,100 people signed up for the Mythki, which added 4,100 people to the newsletter on top of the almost 1,000 we had before. So about 5,000 people were active on the newsletter. From that, our average order value, our average cart value was over $300. That means we could spend $300 to get a customer and still break even. Now, for anyone who's wondering, like, is that good? Is that bad? It's the best funnel that I've ever personally had, right? It means I can spend $300 to get somebody on a trial of the newsletter, which is, which is crazy, which is why when the funnel got done, the launch was over, we were able to quickly flip on ads and now consistently are getting dozens and dozens of people a day to continually join the newsletter all from paid ads, which is how we're continuing to grow today. It's interesting because when people launch companies, I was like, what should I do first? And like, after going through this process and like relaunching it, I think that every business needs its own Mifki. The question would be like, well, what, what could you create? What could you put into a Mifki? Everyone's got stuff. You know, a lot of times we don't understand the value. Of it. Like, like, what have you created in the past? Like, what are the things you've done? Have you done interviews? Have you done phone calls? Have you created contracts? Have you uh, created workbooks or worksheets? Or like, what are the things, like the byproducts of your business, right? Like there's always something you can do, you just gotta kinda be creative. And so find those things and be willing to go out of your comfort zone, even though it's like, oh, I could sell that or oh, it cost me this much money to make it. Like if it feels a little bit painful, it means it's probably the right thing to put inside of your Mifki. The most, most incredible free offer of all time. So that's it for the update video. You know, we've gone in six months from, you know, acquiring the company to having Dan from Lacking Live to flying the team out here trying to figure out what we were gonna do to rebranding the newsletter, creating the logos, getting Dan more involved back in the company, creating the Mifki offer, creating the upsells, the downsells, doing the affiliate launch, driving it all, whew, and going from about 1,000 members to over 5,000, and now having the system and the tool in place to be able to dramatically scale this funnel to 10,000, 100,000 beyond. And so it's been a, a crazy six months. It's been so much fun. I'm having the time of my life. And so hope you got value from this. Create your Mifki. It's time. It'll change your business and it may even change your life, but only if you do it. So make your Mifki. Let's go.